this is how the dashboard looks like yeah this is the name the sample name that someone created okay on the left hand side you have all the menus let's first look at overview so overview it will show you the cash flow you know all in terms of graphs and charts and pie charts it shows the profit and loss here it shows the expenses here your bank accounts that you have integrated your credit cards and any other you know other checking or saving accounts that you might have it shows the balances because you've integrated it yeah and this is something that you have to do when you when you open a quickbooks account and it's obviously this is something your uh, your client would do any which place at the beginning like open an account and then add you invite their staff invite the entire company uh, whoever is on the on the payroll or whoever uh, is on their uh, employee database they will invite to them they will add the bank accounts they will add their credit cards they will add their business uh, tax licenses 1099 uh, the irs taxes um, what is that form 1099 sure um and then they will also integrate their different credit cards and you can also see the invoices invoices the sales figures etc etc yeah now uh they've included a new thing called privacy so if you're in some public place like a coffee shop uh, which small entrepreneurs they tend to do you know this or uh, those kind of places where it's like you know those shared workspaces in India there's WeWork and uh, co-shared spaces where you don't want people walking behind you to look at your company's figures so you can just work on QuickBooks by just pressing this at least on this screen they're planning to uh, you know put this to other screens where sensitive information and financial information is displayed yeah. okay um, so the first thing that we look at is what all can you do on, on uh, by clicking on new there are other ways of like creating an invoice either you can go from here and click here or you can also go from here and click so we'll look at both the options first is the customer side what all can you do what uh, and then the supplier side and then the payroll which is you know, your salary send off for that company and then some other things like when you get a check you go to the bank and deposit when you transfer it to someone when you make a journal entry at the end of the month if you have to send a statement to someone so that those are the other stuff let's come to this who can tell me what is the difference between a customer and a supplier supplier is also called as vendor if you remember last time we discussed so tell me who can tell me who is a customer for me like let's say for example i am your client and i'm selling these uh what is, let's say yeah i'm selling this bracelet yeah yeah, Shay, so a customer would be uh, from where the cash is coming in and the vendor is from where the cash is going out. Okay, but... In like the, in accounting terms. Okay, so in this case, if I'm selling this bracelet, who am I selling it to? A vendor, supplier or customer? The customer. And who will be my supplier? The vendor, of course. No, no, in this case, just make a rough assumption. Like so, you will be taking the bracelet would be your vendor. Or a vendor sourcing the materials so, from. Yes, sourcing yeah. the materials from. I am not the going source. to make this out of thin air, sign, uh, like some godman, like, you know, I am not right. some magic so, person. Yeah. Uh, so, I also need someone who, first of all, supplies the raw materials, then maybe, more, maybe transport it to someone who will actually make this in, in a factory or in a, you know, industry kind of a setting, and then ship it to the my warehouse and then i will ship this to my customers correct yes no yes yes, yes. so at yes, least sure. you've understood yes. the 
difference between customer supplier see in on some uh, accounting softwares uh, customers are also called as clients for some reason which is like a weird terminology because in freshbooks and wave accounting software it's called as clients in quickbooks they are called customers uh, on uh, i think sage accounting software they are called suppliers and also on freshbooks they are called vendors so it's one and the same either customers slash clients and here it's either suppliers slash vendors okay now here these people are suppliers are something that i need to pay them customers are people where i am getting the money from got it understood these the the actual difference between customers and suppliers yes sir yeah. so this means whoever does whoever uh, does any kind of duties related to customers is handled by accounts receivable department because i'm receiving something okay anything related to accounts uh, anything that i owe something to i am paying someone right so this part of duties are uh, done by accounts accounts who payable yes so if this is receivable of course this is going to be paid and who does this who pays the employers the company oh the well, house smart <laughs> What does Saloni do? HR. Yes, and <laughs> payroll. 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 Okay. See, for in uh, in India, sometimes the payroll department is not clear clearly uh, designed or designated because accounts payable and HR kind of does it in you know they club it. Sorry, give me one second. Find this payroll. Yeah. but mostly in us there's a separate payroll department which should be a part of accounts payable anyways because anything uh, sorry accounts payable anyways because anything that you owe is supposed to be accounts payable but just in most companies it is uh, again distributed for this is accounts payable and this is the payroll department and also because a person doing payroll also needs to understand the income taxes the superannuation the deductions the child care allowances the um, in us you also get uh, you know something called as uh, like if you get a a court mandate order to deduct someone's wages because of some you know maybe a, a part of alimony or whatever then the employer is supposed to deduct those things so all those information and all that requires a little bit of more studies so someone who does payroll must understand the the taxation of the country the tax codes the income tax slabs that the country follows and also the superannuation and insurance details as well so it's a little bit more complex not what i mean to say is whoever does accounts payable doesn't mean that they can also do payroll but whoever does payroll can do, can do accounts payable this is a little bit of a higher expertise than this Did I, did I make that clear? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, in the customer side, what are the different things that you can do? Invoices, receive payment, quote. as an estimate uh, adjustment notes which is also called as credit notes sales receipts refunds because refunds is also uh, you know common and then delayed credit and delayed charge is something that you give to special customers who bring a lot of revenue instead of like for example instead of uh, others paying every 30 days you give them extended time like yeah you are a very important customer you bring in so much so you can pay every 60 days kind of so that is delayed credit uh when it 
comes to this so these are the things that a accounts receivable person can send these are the things that a accounts payable person does like put in expenses send in checks to pay something pay bills purchase orders send purchase orders and i'll come to what is the purchase order in a bit and then any credit card credit employers they do the payroll and sometimes they have to check the uh, now quickbooks and most of these payroll softwares they have this weekly time sheet where you punch in your you know your daily thing daily attendance kind of a thing that's what it is okay the other things are uh, is if you have some petty cash in your company like a lot of companies do have petty cash as in cash you know so that if they require let's say for example friday ke liye if you if you need like a to order a pizza then usually the hr they have some cash lying around or for some photo copying or for let's say for some postage they keep some petty cash handy so that you know every time you don't have to like do an online transfer or you don't have to have an account with some so and sometimes people get checks so you have to go to the bank and deposit right so you will use this option uh, because quickbooks will not come to know that you have received a check check is something that comes physically right so someone the postman has come uh, and delivered a check to your office premises quickbooks doesn't understand that right unless you come here and uh, and then you go to the bank and deposit that check and cash that check then you have to come to quickbooks and tell that i made a bank deposit or if you made a cash deposit also then you have to come uh, to quickbooks and tell otherwise it will not come so that's when you use this transfer uh, is something you know it's like a big transfer in this case so maybe transferring from your checking accounts to a saving account or from credit card to that's the bank transfer journal entry is something as i said done at the end of the month statement i'll come to that in a bit 